What up, everybody? Thanks for stopping by the channel and hanging out. My name is Jared. This is the LVME. We're doing a smoking reaction today in a slightly different spot than usual. My podcast studio is all set up to record my MMA podcast tomorrow. Didn't feel like disrupting it, so we're actually sitting in my living room right now. Now, I think this is a little bit fitting. You see behind me here, I got Tupac. I got Biggie. What you can't see over here is I got Tony Soprano. I got Frank Sinatra's mugshot. We got The Godfather. We got Mike Tyson. We got Johnny Cash. We got Kid Rock. The whole, whole surrounded by the greats, which I think is fitting because we are here to witness the last rap video from someone I consider to be one of the greats in the game. We're talking about Adam Calhoun, who has released his song, Amen, the video for his song. And this is it as far as rap videos from Adam, which bums me out. I really like Calhoun. I think he is an amazing artist. I think he is without a doubt an MC in the rap game. And I would say now that he's retired and like we can look back at his body of work, which is 11 albums, the dude is definitely in my top 10 MCs of all time. I'm not quite sure where he places yet. It is going to be bottom five, all right? But even though he's only been around four years, I, I just think his body of work is greater than the length of his career would indicate. I remember the first time I heard Adam, it was, uh, it was that song Racism, which I think is where he got a lot of us. And the second I heard his flow, his cadence, his delivery on there, I knew we were dealing with a real OG in the rap game. Despite him seeming to be new, it was clear to me and to any other hip-hop head out there that this was a guy who's been rapping for a really long time. Like, you just can't rap like that off the get-go. That takes hours and hours and hours of fucking practice to sound that good. And the things that I think has really set Adam apart over his career is exactly that. His amazing repertoire of cadences. He has got so many different flows. Fuck, it just blows my mind. I mean, talk about an MC. And here we go. This is it. The final rap video. I have heard this song before because I have his album. All right. But I have not seen this video yet. So we're going to watch this together. I'm going to puff down on this bad boy. I'm in a legal state. If you all want to smoke with me, you go right ahead. Let me go ahead and make this big screen here. I'm dealing with a little bit of a cold. Can you tell my voice is a little fucked up? All right, let's make this big screen. Oh, sorry for my nasty noises here. Let me get a fucking headphones. Let's spark this bad boy up. And everybody watching, uh, I would love to hear in the comments your thoughts on Adam, where he stands and for you in the rap game. And we're going to keep talking about this throughout the video as well. Now, if this is your first time rocking with me, and pausing bothers you because maybe you haven't heard this song, Amen, yet, then you need to bounce over to Adam's channel. There's a link in the description of mine right below. And you should watch the video there, and you should give him a like and a comment if you haven't already. That's going to help his video out a lot. And that's really why I do these. I love talking about rap, but I also want to expand these independent artist exposure as much as my little channel can do. Uh, because I love these guys. I love this music. I've been listening to rap for longer than I care to admit. But let's just say since I was three years old, which is a really long fucking time. So, here we are. Adam Calhoun. Like I said, I'm going to pause this. We're going to talk about these bars. We're going to talk about the music, the video, whatever we feel like. Please hit me up in the comments. Let me know your thoughts as we're going along. All right, everybody. Let's do this. Adam Calhoun. Amen. Yeah, old videos. Oh, him in church. Hold on. Now, I'm no expert on Adam's career, but I do know that uh, one of the first things he did was a Whoa Vicky video with Up Church, and that's probably what we're looking at here. Looks like we're going to get a lot of scenes and flashbacks from his... <coughs> His short but powerful career in the rap game. I say short because he's only been releasing albums here really in, over the past four years, even though he was a rapper back in the day when he was a young man. And clearly, 
clearly Adam kept rapping, like at least around the house or in his, you know, as a hobby, because you, you just, you don't sound as good as he does unless you put in the time and the work in the years. So here we go. Just think, I made 11 damn albums, yeah. No pain, I've been unscathed from battling. All days, no pain, my name will always last. I can only end my own career, so it's a rap. Listen, kids, tell them suck your dick or kiss your ass. Don't ever sign shit and take a record label advance. Let me just listen to his voice over this beat. It's so smooth. So good. So good. <coughs> Man, it's joint is killing my lungs already. I don't know if I'm going to make it, y'all. Let's examine some of what he said here. He said, no pain, I've been unscathed from battling over 11 rap albums. Now, he is a confrontational rapper. Adam, is, Adam in the way I describe him, is not really a country rapper to each his own. I know he would describe himself as that. I, for me, he's a gangster rapper. Um, Adam's a G. He's confrontational. He's aggressive in his hip hop. And that uh, he doesn't shy away from confrontation, which is a part of hip hop. Not all rappers are in that lane. Adam definitely is. And he's had a lot of rap beefs and he didn't take any L's on any of that shit. That's for sure. Said, I can only end my own career, so it's a rap. That, I agree with that. I don't think that Adam would ever fade off as far as skill wise. I mean, look at guys like Eminem just turned 50, y'all, and he can still put out just as good of music. I think, you know, even though I don't listen to him as much, I've heard some. His music's fucking popping. His skill set is still there. Adam could keep doing this for a long time. It's his choice to stop. Listen, kids, tell them suck your dick or kiss your ass. Don't ever sign shit and take a record label advance. Been wrecking shit I own every record that I made. I, th I really think that that's smart advice in this day and age to not take a record deal. Like, you can make more money with less of an audience than you can with a record deal. As, as far as it seems to me, on the outside, looking in, not being in the music industry or understanding the ins and outs of that shit like these dudes do. But, like, if you're keeping 100%, you know, minus cost of your album sales uh, versus, I don't know, I've heard it's as little as, like, 3%. Sometimes it's a dollar per CD back when they were doing CDs. Who knows? But it, it, ain't, it ain't a percentage anywhere fucking near that. Uh, so you can make more money with a smaller audience. And you can see these label rappers making less money with a bigger audience. Something to think about if you're in the game. Right? Paid all the labor I've invested, I will forever be paid. But, but always in debt to my fans, still the birth. That's another real beautiful thing here is he said all the labor he invested, he's going to forever get paid. Every time we stream this music, we watch these videos, Adam is earning some money, and that's fucking sick. You know, it's not like like these other rappers back when you had, when you're putting out CDs and you're putting out tapes, you know, they got whatever money that they get from the sale of a CD, which probably wasn't much. But then that's it. You listen to the CD, you listen to the tape. They don't, they don't earn money every time that shit spins, every time that LP spins, you know. But these guys, they can earn this cash every time we stream it. Not a lot, admittedly, but it's a little bit, and it's going straight to them, and I dig that a lot. That I carry Ben heavy like an anvil. All the dudes are buried, brought careers to a standstill. A giant in this game, who a pebble on an anthill. I've been able to do something in my career that's very special that a lot of people have failed at. I've done a lot of good business and not fucked anybody over. I've been loyal, I've been a good friend. That's why I don't care what people say about me if they don't know me. Look what I was able to do. Look what we were able to do. We brought all these people. I like that. He says he's a giant in this game, and I want to specify, I don't just consider that to be the, quote, country rap game. Adam's a giant in the rap game, period. And anybody that knows hip-hop knows that. Like, skill recognizes skill, motherfucker. Who we got? We got Adam. I don't know who's in the middle. We got Jelly Roll over there. I've been able to do something in my career that's very special that a lot of people have failed at. Him in church. What he says here, that's important. When you can say you, you did the game, you played the game, and the rap game is dirty, and you didn't fuck anybody over, 
hold your head high. I've done a lot of good business and not fucked anybody over. <laughs> I've been loyal. I've been a good friend. That's why I don't care what people. He said he's been loyal. That's the most important thing to me. I fuck with the G code. And not only does that mean not you don't talk to cops, you, and what that means is you don't rat on your friends, which boils down to loyalty. It's the most important trait in my mind and in my life with my, my circle of people. Fucking everything's about loyalty. Love can fade, and grow stronger. Loyalty stays there, stays true. People say about me if they don't know me. Look yeah. what I was able to do. She, look what we were able to do. We brought all these people together, all these great artists that you love on one project together. I'm trying to help this genre grow. Who else is doing that? Let it rain. 40 nights, 40 days. Got so far ahead, I took myself out the game. And so let it rain, 40 nights, 40 days. A little biblical reference there for those of you wondering. Shit. Used to be everybody would know that shit. Noah's Ark, 40 nights, 40 days. I don't know. Religion's falling by the wayside these days. I like how he's dumping out his scripts here. He's got some good bars about prescription pills on this album. 40 nights, 40 days. <laughs> got so far ahead, I took myself out the game. Mental health went through hell. All the shit people take. Nice to my face, they feel safe far away. Let me pray. Dear God, may every fake motherfucker that I help live to see the day where they gotta see me face to face. See, I fuck with that right there. That's why I feel in tune with Adam when I listen to his music. Because that's how I vibe with shit, too. Like, like he gets stressed in this rap game. As, as near as I can tell from the outside looking at what he says and does, right? Is that all these motherfuckers talk shit, and he's not the kind of guy that just lets that go. Like, you can talk your shit, but you need to back that up when I'm in front of your face. And then we can do something about it. And there's men that live that way, and women, I suppose, too. And then there's others that don't. Like, they don't care if you're talking about them. They could care less what you said. They just go on and do their thing. I'm like Adam. Talk your shit. Back your shit up. And that, that makes for a, somewhat of a stressful life if you're in an industry where there's a lot of shit talking, like in the hip-hop game. You know what I mean? And Adam's a big, tough motherfucker. You know, size ain't everything. But uh, Adam will get him up. You can just tell. That's why I love love Adam's music. Make them stand on the shit they say. Wait, I want to run that back. So make them stand on the shit they say. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Too many, too many people just run mouths. Like, stand on that shit. Exactly. I, I really like how in that bar, it's not like, let everybody who, you know, I helped and they, and they fucked me over. Don't, don't let them get fucked over. All he says is just, let me see them face to face. That's all, it, that's all I ask. Fuck with that, Adam. I fuck with that. The shit people take. Nice to my face. They feel safe far away. Let me pray. Dear God, may every fake motherfucker that I help live to see the day where they gotta see me face to face. Yeah. Make them stand on the shit they say. Yeah. Amen. My enemy should thank my daughter. She gave him light. Cause I'd rather be a father than do life more. I feel that shit right there, man. I've said this before in Adam's music. And that's just another way I vibe with Adam. Like that having a daughter is exactly what got me off the same path he's talking about right there. I had to stop so many just reactions, my natural reactions to life after I had a daughter. I had to think about it because I raised her by myself, right? I uh, no help, no no girlfriends, no nannies, no babysitters, nothing. Me and my kid. And uh shit. It changed my whole life. And you make better decisions and i feel it when he says my enemies should thank my daughter just yes yes sir more alive than i've ever been fly like i'm heaven sent fuck the other side i hope they die they irrelevant to all the young guys that are out there listening to this right now trying to come up and get into this game this rap shit just know it's a motherfucker and eight out of the ten people that you meet are gonna be pieces of shit snakes. They're gonna wanna take <coughs> from you. First, please don't shut the curtains. Make the haters look at me. I piss them off on purpose. I ain't quitting working. I'm just sick of fucking rapping. Rather put my head in the bag and suffocate on the plastic. I'm he said I'm sick of fucking rapping. Rather put my head in a bag and suffocate on the plastic. At least he's still touring. Matter of fact, I'ma see you. I say you because I know he watches this channel. 
Um, I'm going to see Adam next month. He's rolling through Vegas, November 11th. Got tickets for me, my boy, my girl. We're rolling. Hopefully, seems like I'm going to get to interview Adam while he's in town, too. So if you're down with my channel, you're down with me, stay tuned for that. I'm this old dirty bastard, Cameron and Biggie. Eminem's a pussy, I'd rather listen to 50. I miss old dirty bastard from Wu Tang, from Wu Tang Clan. God rest his soul. I miss Cameron, fucking Biggie. Yeah. I'm fucking Eminem, I get it. He's like, Eminem's a pussy, I'd rather listen to 50. I feel you. I listened to old Eminem back in the day. I, I don't really listen to new Eminem at all. Hey, stack. I tried to give that guy a chance. I fought his fight in the street like a man. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. My head in the bag and suffocate on the plastic. I miss old dirty bastard. Cameron and Biggie. Eminem's a pussy. I'd rather listen to 50. Fuck hey, stack. I tried to give that guy a chance. I Somehow I missed this whole beef. Like, what the shit he had going on with this dude, Haystack, who I don't, I don't even know who that is. That's some country rap shit I don't know about. Um, was before I discovered Adam. So, I did recently, I saw some footage of this shit with, I think this is him and uh, Nash Villain. But I didn't see this part of it. Adam looked like he fucking whooping that ass right here. I seen some shit where Nash clocked him in the eye, but maybe this ain't him. I, I can't really tell. Maybe this is a haystack dude. I, I really don't know, but I did see him fighting in the street with Nash villain. Pussy, I'd rather listen to 50. Fuck haystack, I tried to give that guy a chance. I fought his fight in the street like a man, yeah. I pray to God we meet again. I'm a real crazy white boy and we ain't friends. Said I pray to God we meet again. I'm a real crazy white boy and we ain't friends. I feel you. I just respect the fuck out of that, man. There's not enough men willing to do that shit these days. And I'm not kidding. I'm not saying violence is the answer. But sometimes grown-ass men need to settle shit the way grown-ass men used to settle shit, which is like what you just saw on the street with Adam right there. Ain't nothing wrong with fucking getting them up one-on-one. -on -one. If we had more of that, we'd have less other drama, less, less actual violence like shooting and knifings and all this other shit. But... You know how rare it is these days to get you know, to go toe heads up in the street. Ah, uh, you 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 got you got to get somebody to go into the ring with you these days because in the street they all got their boys and some or a weapon and violence. Shit gets crazy. Can't do that shit. I mean, you got lucky there, but those were men handling man shit. God, I really like this song. I mean, obviously what he's saying is powerful. The images on the screen are powerful. But his delivery, his voice over the beat, his cadence, his flow is awesome. It's just, oh, I feel it. I pray to God we meet again. I'm a real, real crazy, crazy white, white boy, boy and we, we ain't, ain't friends. friends. I'm going to wrap it up like this without the fans. I ain't shit. You changed my life forever with this dream that I live. This is the last rap album that I will ever release. You guys changed my life forever. I love y'all. I just don't love this shit no more. I'll see you out on the road. <coughs> it looks like the shot from racism right there. Could be wrong. That's what it looks like. <coughs> This is not the end of my story, just the end of a chapter. God willing, I'm going to go do bigger shit, better music, raise my family. All right. <clears throat> Jeez. Wow. <clears throat> Damn, these sinuses are killing me. All right, what did you all think of that? I really loved it. I love that song. 
I've heard it probably 20 times now. That album has just been on steady play uh, since it dropped last week. Uh, I think it's definitely Akal's best work. I think it's rap album of the year. I have got a review of the album dropping within the next few days, and uh, I'll give my exact thoughts on the whole thing and Adam's career as a whole since this, this is his last album. But since this is the last rap video, I will just sum it up again by saying Adam is definitely now in my top 10 rappers of all time. His skills are impeccable on the mic. I'm, I'm thankful. Thank you, Adam, for the body of music that you have left us. I will be in my rotation probably till I'm an old-ass man, dog. My tastes don't change much. I've been listening to this hip-hop shit since I was three. But I listen to other shit, too. I have a fucking open mind. But this is my jam. This is my shit right here. And I think uh, I'll be listening to it till I'm old. And your music will forever be on that playlist, homie. So looking forward to seeing you at the concert. I'm really looking forward to hearing what all my listeners and viewers here have to say about this album, about this uh, song, I mean, in particular. And Adam, his, your thoughts on Adam's career as a whole. I will see you all in the next video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're down. Uh, if you're in that uh, MMA at all, there should be links appearing on the screen. I've got an MMA podcast where me and my homie interview uh, UFC fighters, BKFC fighters, Bellator fighters, even more. Links on the screen. I'll see you all in the next video. All right. Peace, everybody.